<laughs> okay, perfect. So as we're going through the actual setup, now here's the deal about Facebook ads. You can have the best text and it's what we call copy. Okay. Mm -hmm. C-O-P-Y. This text is called copy on anything ever, like on a title of a book, on anything. It's, it's, it's copy. So you have the copy and then you have the image. Okay. Yeah. And then what you're also going to have is the actual title. So let me see if I can, if I can see the title. So if I edit post. Okay. As, as you go and set it, it will ask for the title, but that's fine. We'll leave that as the title up there. That's fine. Okay, perfect. So then here's the thing. You can have the best title. You can have the best copy as far as the text. You can have the best image. You can have the best video. You can have all this stuff going for you. But if this part isn't set up the correct way, this is step one. So there's only three steps on setting up this ad, the campaign, the ad set, and the ad. Okay, those are three steps. I call them the three pillars. Okay. This is exactly the process. Step one it all starts here. What a lot of people do, a lot, a lot of people, a lot, a lot of people, uh, what a lot of people do is their objective is to maybe, let's say, capture a lead. Mm -hmm. Their objective is to capture a lead. And, and let's say it's a video. Let's say it's a video. Their objective is to capture a lead. So they'll come in here and they'll run video views thinking that that's going to capture leads, thinking that they're going to get someone to comment, thinking someone's going to message them, thinking someone's going to click on the link and maybe go to their landing page, like their car chair page, for example. It's a video. We're running it as an ad. We would think that video views is where we got to be. And we end up doing that. Yeah. And then at the end of the campaign, you're wondering why no one clicked on learn more. You're wondering, you're wondering why no one even opted they in watched the video. They didn't click it. They watched the video. That was the whole purpose of that right there was to get thousands of people to view the video. Mm -hmm. It wasn't a capture a lead. Mm -hmm. So, 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 and, and the only reason why a person would even run video views is so they can find the audience. For example, with the one I showed you earlier with Brenda, we have almost a couple thousand people that viewed the video. Our whole objective is to run video views to find the couple thousand people. Okay. Once we find the couple thousand people now, now Facebook's not going to give us name and number. They're going to tell us, Hey, 2000 people viewed it, but they're not going to give us name and phone number because it wasn't a lead ad. It was a video view ad, but here's why you would run a video view ad first. And that's why I'm advising you do the intro video, run that under video views first to find the couple thousand people who actually viewed it. Yeah. Once we find the couple thousand people that viewed it, Facebook is now going to put that into what they call a custom audience. Now you have to set it up, which I'll, I'll, I'll show you how to do that, but that's when, you, that's when you're able to put these 2,000 people in a group and then retarget them and run another ad to them in the future. Yeah. That's what you want to do with your Facebook ads. And that's why video is so powerful because you can run a video ad, get a few thousand people to view it, group those few thousand people in what Facebook calls a custom audience, and now that becomes your targeting. Now, when you go run Facebook ad number two, you're, re you're retargeting everyone who watched video number one. Okay. And, and, and you just keep repeating that, repeating that, repeating that, because in marketing, in advertising, and this is advertising 101, a person has to see your message six to seven times before they do anything. So what I want to do is I want to keep getting in front of people who are viewing my stuff. Like I don't want to, like the video view, the intro, that one's going to go to a cold market. When you run it to Atlanta and you run it to everyone in that, in that area where you're farming, it's a cold market. These people, and this is video ad number one. This is ad number one. These people don't know you. They're not friends with you on Facebook. Yeah, they live five miles away, but they don't know you, right? It's a cold market. Yeah. That's why you run the video ad, the very intro nonchalant approach, the casual approach, you want to introduce yourself just to get the market warmed up to you. Okay. So they can start, they, they can see the video and be like, damn, okay, that chick, she seems pretty cool. And, and then, and then what happens is again, a few thousand people viewed it. Now those people are in a custom audience. And now that audience is what I use for Facebook ad number two. So when I go run ad number two, I'm going to run it to the people who watched ad number one. And then when I go run ad number three, I'm going to retarget and target the people who watched video number one and video number two. So what ends up happening is you keep getting in front of people who are watching your stuff. 
Okay. And, and, and now these people are, are seeing you multiple times in your news feed. And that's why the ultimate strategy for this is to run a video every week. Run a video every week, target that local area, but also keep targeting the people who are watching your previous videos. Okay. So that's how your branding effect really starts to exponentially grow out because now people continue to see you. And it's not people that are, that, that are not interested. These are people that are watching our stuff. So whether the video was two minutes, three minutes, four minutes, five minute, minutes, it doesn't even matter. You watched my stuff. Facebook mm -hmm. gave me that data. I know this group watched my stuff. So I'm going to just keep getting in front of them because if they weren't interested, no one's watching your stuff, right? Yeah. Like I ain't going to sit here for two minutes and watch you if I have absolutely no interest. So there's interest when people watch your stuff. And if I can keep getting in front of them, I'm going to build that like, know, and trust factor. I'm literally, this is the way psychology works. I'm literally, after a person sees your video three, four, five times, multiple videos every week, and this person lives a few miles away from you, and you keep talking about Atlanta, or you keep talking about that spot that you're farming, and these are people that are in that area, and they keep seeing that video. Before you know it, they feel they know you, they feel they like you, they feel they trust you, because they keep seeing you, they keep seeing you and you're not just pitching a listing, or you're not just pitching an open house. Yeah. What I call strategy step three, my whole strategy is when you start educating, like just like I showed you Brenda and her husband, mm -hmm. they are educating in three minutes the process of buying a home. They're educating the audience, and that's what you're going to be doing. So your short videos are educational based. They're value based. You're actually educating the end user, the end consumer, and that's why people continue to watch it. And again, after a few videos, they feel they know you, like you, and trust you. They literally become indoctrinated with your content because you keep showing up. And before you know it, they're clicking on learn more and giving up their, their name and number. Okay. So, so it all starts with video views, introducing yourself and capturing that audience. Okay. And, and, and that's why with the video views, you want to run it for, run it for at least, at least seven to 10 days to get a few thousand people to view it. Mm -hmm. And, 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 um, and that's powerful because in Atlanta, let's say for example, and how are you actually in Atlanta or are you outside of Atlanta? Because I keep no, saying Atlanta. I'm not outside. I mean, I'm in the suburbs. Okay, suburbs. so then what's the city? Uh, Kennesaw, Ackworth. Oh, Kennesaw? Kennesaw, yeah. Okay, Kennesaw. I can't even say that damn word, but Kennesaw. Okay, so this is going out to Kennesaw, right? Let's say in Kennesaw, let's say there's a population of 100,000. Mm -hmm. Our whole strategy here is to run that video to the 100,000 people, but we're not going to reach them all. Let's just say 10,000 of them watched the intro. That becomes your audience. So it's the 10,000 people that are going to keep seeing you over and over and over and over because they keep watching your stuff. Yeah. And those are the people that you just get indoctrinated with your message. Does that make sense? No, it makes total sense. But how do I do that? Good. So here's how we're going to do it. So, so right now we don't have a video or do you have any videos on this page? I do. Scroll down. Awesome. So let's use, let's use a video as this, as this example then. Perfect. Perfect. So right here, even this one. Awesome. Awesome. A day in the life of a real estate agent. This right here. Do you want to start this ad right now? Yeah, that's fine. This, is this somewhat of an intro? Uh, no, I wouldn't say, I don't know. I mean, okay. We'll do an intro, do an intro. And then, and then we'll, we'll, we'll get that one started. But okay. in the meantime, let's use this one yesterday. We'll use that one as an example okay. to set this one up. So here's what we're going to do. Video views. And then we're going to just simply name it. We'll give it a title. This will be a day in the life. That's just me being silly. <laughs> What's that? I saw that video. It's just me being silly, showing my personality. Oh, it's so. all good. It's perfect. That's exactly, those are the exact videos you want to be making. That's all I want to do. I don't want to That's do it. No, that is totally it. You're going to crush it. You are going to crush it. Those are the videos that get the most engagement is the raw on your phone, not giving a crap. Give it, give it, give it how it is. Right. So, yeah. and so here's what here, here. Okay. So now, now we're in the second step. Yeah. Okay. Now we're in the second pillar ad set when you create when we create the audience of the people who 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 watched the, the first video we're not going to do it now because this is the first video but let's say this is the second ad we're setting up mm -hmm. we create an audience of all the people who watched the first one and then right here is where you would click custom audience 
you would click and you would see that you would see that audience right here. Oh, okay. All and those that's who you're targeting. Okay. Okay. But right now we don't have that audience. So let's just scroll down and then detailed targeting. What I, what this whole strategy of finding your own audience mm -hmm. allows you to not even have to worry about the targeting. What a lot of people would do in here is they'll put in Zillow, realtor.com, all these different keywords mm -hmm. for targeting. But we already have the people. We already we ran Facebook ad number one. We got the audience of who watched it, and that's mm -hmm. who I want to keep staying in front of, and especially when it's thousands of people. Okay. So they watched my intro, and I'm gonna I'm gonna retarget them, and I don't need to put any detail targeting. And even and, and and so even the first yeah, so I don't have to put any. So I'm not gonna put any any keyword. Just leave that part blank. Okay? Would you put it in the original video though? Very good question. No, yeah. that's what I was trying to say. No, okay. not even in the first one. Okay. Because again, I'm going to find my own audience. Okay. Right? I'm going to find my yeah, own audience. Don't limit yourself. Yeah, I don't want to limit myself. I'll find my own audience. People who like my intro, they're going to watch it and I'm going to stay in front of those people. Okay. So no, no keyword necessary right there. Okay, so here's what we got to do now. So down, 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 automatic placements. Um, what I would do is I would, I would start getting used to Sometimes you can run automatic placements, but most of the time I, I don't. What I do is I'll go to edit placement and I'll uncheck Instagram. I'll uncheck messenger. Um, and even a lot of times I'll uncheck audience network because when you leave it on automatic placement, all of those are checked. Yeah. So if we're at five bucks a day or if we're at 10 bucks a day, I don't want that spread too thin. Spread too thin, yeah. Right? Like I want to keep all the attention on Facebook. That's where, where the magic is at. It's all in this news feed. That's mm -hmm. where I need my, my ad to be is in the news feed. Mm -hmm. So edit placement allows you to take off all these other platforms where Facebook would have put your ad if okay. you would have left it on automatic. Okay. Okay. And then when you go run Instagram ads, you'll come in here, same exact thing, but you'll uncheck everything else and do, Instagram. do Instagram yeah. on its okay. own. Damn. So that's how you run an Instagram ad right there. Just check that box and that box only. Don't check all of them. Okay. Like at, like you want to run them, you want to run them separately. Okay. Okay. So in this case, we're going to go Facebook only. And let's say it, it, it is a video. So we want to make sure that it's in all the video spots. So video feeds, um, in, uh, Facebook stories, it can go there. Facebook in-stream videos, it can go there. Um, Facebook instant articles, I'll uncheck that. And then, and then we're good. So now it's playing in all the Facebook video sections within, within Facebook. Okay, so we just scroll down. Um, this right here is fine budget let's just say we go with five bucks a day okay and what i do also here's here's what i want you to kind of get in the habit of and, and, and it's the same exact math the math it's the same thing but it's just set up differently rather than going let's say let's say for example our goal was to to run this for seven days okay mm -hmm. seven days run the ad and 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 then and then see how it's performing. But it, but again, in this case, it's just video views. So there's yeah. really nothing that's not going to happen. It's going to get tons of views. So run it for seven to ten days. Let it run. And let's say, for example, our daily budget is five bucks, and our and our goal is to run it for let's say ten days. Okay. Rather than doing that, what I do is I end up going fifty bucks, and I end up going lifetime budget. Okay. And then what I end up doing is I end up setting the, the calendar. So I want to run it for five bucks a day for 10 days, but rather than a $5 daily budget, I'm going to go lifetime budget and I'm going to go 50 for the lifetime. And I'm going to, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to set it, set the calendar. I always set it for the next day. So today's the 12th. I'll set it for the 13th. So I give Facebook plenty of time to review it and approve it. Okay. And then I go 6 a.m. the next day. And, and again, our goal, our, our, or I should say our budget was, is $5 a day for 10 days, 50 bucks lifetime. So I'm going to make sure this right here is set 13. Actually, actually that's um, March. So always make sure you're in the right month because Facebook will always push out a month. And so I don't want to go out a month. I want to go 10 days. So if I'm starting on the 13th, that would go to the 23rd. And then I would set 6 a.m. And there's my $50 budget. 
Wow. So rather than going daily, I go lifetime at the same amount and set the calendar. Okay. Okay. And this allows me also to not have to micromanage it. I don't want to be looking at the damn ad all damn day. Yeah. Even though I do. I mean, shit, that's what I do all day is look at ads. But in your case, you got other things going on. You don't want to have to micromanage it. You want to, you want to know, you want to be able to go at, go to bed. You want to be able to go to bed at night peacefully knowing that you're not going to be spending five grand on an ad because you forgot it was on. Yeah. Okay. Right. Like so that. you, it, this allows you to sleep at night knowing that there is an end date. It ends on the 23rd and you're not going to go over budget. Okay. So, so that right there, that right there, I would say would be a perfect, perfect strategy. 10 days, 10 days. There's 40 days. 30 days in a month, but let's stretch it out to 40 days. Every, every 10 days, we're running a new ad at that budget. If you were to start at 200 bucks for, for the month, you'd start crushing it. Okay. So that's that part right there. If we come down, show more options, we don't need any of that. And then what we're going to do is go to continue. And normally it asks us, it, it's either at the ad set or the ad, It'll ask us to comply. I wonder if you've already done that part. Because it didn't, it didn't give us that notification for housing. You clicked it when you first started. Well, yeah, I checked the box, but there was, there was another one that you have to comply. And it's like you kind of had to sign for it as well. But it's electronic. Um, and normally that's on the ad set or the ad level. But we didn't see it. So... What I'm going to do is I'm going to just, let's just run this. Let's just set this one. Let's, let, let, let's set it. We won't have to, we won't have to run it, but let's set it. Let's let Facebook review it. And then let's look at the notification. Once we get one back, if, if it approves or denies it. Okay. And then if it approves it, you can just easily turn it off, which I'll show you how to do. So here's what, and, and I only want to do that to, to see if we get approved on it. Because if we don't get approved on it, then Facebook can say, hey, you got to click on this and then it'll walk us through the complying part. Okay. And then once we comply, then we're good. You'll never have a, an ad disapproved again. Um, so here's what we do now. Now we're on the third step. So because we posted it on the page first, right? Mm -hmm. Now we're going to come over here and by default, they have us under create ad. Oh, okay. But I'm going to go existing post. And the reason why I do this is because when you just simply create ad and you're at this part right here, Facebook is going to obviously want you to upload the image or the video, right? And that video would be on your computer saved in your desktop somewhere. You'll either have a video or you'll, you'll either add it. Actually, yeah, we're in video view. So it's going to ask us for a video and you'll have that video in your download folder on your computer and you'll just simply click on it and upload it from your computer. But the reason why I don't do it that way is because once I turn the ad off, like it's going to end in 10 days, once I turn that ad off or once it ends, the ad, the post is completely, it's, it's nowhere to be found because yeah. I didn't post it on my page. Yeah. It's, this is what they call a dark post. <laughs> okay. so, I don't know if you've ever heard of the term dark post before. No. But that's what we call, that's what Facebook calls a dark post because the ad, once it's off, it's off. Okay. And, and the way I look at it, it's like, okay, well, even if the video sucked, even if the image sucked, even if what I wrote was horrible, I still paid for it. And there was yeah. still a message behind it, yeah. whether it was a listing, an open house or anything about my business, whatever. I still paid for it. I thought it was good, whatever. If yeah. I didn't capture a lead from it, whatever, but I paid for it. And because I paid for it, I still want it to live on my page forever. Yeah. That's why I post it there first and then come oh, over here wow. and I use existing. That's so smart. I never had thought about that. Yeah. And, and so, yeah. And, and that's why I create an ad. It's kind of annoying that Facebook doesn't tell you that. Oh, I know. There's so, well, I mean, <laughs> Facebook has so much damn training. You, you'd have to really commit full time to really learning it all. Yeah. Like, like, yeah, there's just so much, there's so much that goes into it. But at the end of the day, I, I really think it's, 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 it's basic. Once you learn it, then, then you'll know it yeah. for sure. But this is what we're going to do. We're going to click on use existing post, and then we're going to select post, which will be one that's on our page. So here's right here, introducing Wednesdays. I thought you were doing a video. You, or you actually, yeah, you're right. Video. So if we're going under video, then it would be a day yeah. in the life. 
So I click on that one, I hit continue, and there it is there. Okay, so and from this point on, you won't be able to change the text, you won't be able to change out anything because it's it's a post that's on the page. Okay. So so it is so make sure that the text when you post it on that business page first, just write out everything you want and make sure that it's good because once we get to this point, we can't change it anymore. Okay. So um now when the ad shuts off, let's say we do run it for 10 days. When the ad shuts off, then you can go to your business page and edit the text or add some emojis or do whatever the hell you want to do to it. Okay. after the ad is off but once this ad is on and once it's once we go into review once i click the green button at the bottom and confirm it mm -hmm. it's in review we can no longer edit that post okay right we'd have to completely shut it off to edit the post okay so that part's super important and then right here the add button this is where your Kartra link would go to your landing page okay so that's where you would post that part so um um and if you don't have a landing page then you can simply put send message. Like there's all these other call to actions, but the most, most, most important for real estate would be learn more or, if, and, and once they click on it, they go to a landing page. But if they're not going to a landing page, then you can easily put send message. Like okay. on the first one that you're going to roll out the intro video, mm -hmm. you send message, or you could put your landing page since we're, since we're going to have a cartridge page, you can easily put that. But if you don't have that up just yet, then yeah. send message is fine. Because again, okay. with the video view, most people are not going to click on learn more. It's not that kind of ad. Most yeah. people are not going to comment below. It's not that kind of ad. It's a video view ad. Yeah. And again, the only reason why we would put a few bucks behind it is to find our audience. Okay. To find the few thousand that are going to watch it. Okay. So that's why, why you would run this first for sure. So okay. send message. We can update post right there. And now, now that post will have a send message button right at the bottom, or it would have been a learn more button. But let's update it, and we'll see send message. Where'd it go? Okay, it should be showing there, but let's see if we can find it in the news feed. So if I click on this, send notification to Facebook. So Facebook. Okay, so notification has been sent to a Facebook account. Please open Facebook on your phone. So open it up on your phone. See if you can check your notifications on, on your phone. Mm -mm. I thought I had a notification. Oh, hold on. Um, that's weird. Oh, here it is. Mm. I don't see anything. They didn't send it to your inbox or your message, your messenger. Oh, Hello. yeah, it's there. Okay, perfect. Here. Perfect. And then we hit confirm. And then let's see. So do we put that pixel though? Does that pixel go there? No, the pixel is not. The pixel is for your okay. landing page. The uh -huh. pixel is for Kartra. I would click that out then because I don't have that set up. You don't have which one set up? The pixel, it's clicked right now. Yeah, this pixel, that's fine. That That's totally fine. Um, but this right here, page messages are disabled. So to send messages, so so on your business page, let's oh. go to, you must have something disabled where, where people cannot message you. Do you have yeah. it set up that way? I don't think so. Uh, there's people cannot that's weird okay but, people cannot contact my page privately this is what it is allow people to contact my page okay yeah, so that, I definitely want that <laughs> yeah that's okay so good i'm glad we caught that okay so that should be saved and now let me see if i can if i can continue now okay perfect we should be good okay so this right here this is not an ad we're going to run but I wanted to go through the process. I wanted to go through awesome. the, the review process. Thank you. So that's scheduled. It'll say scheduled. And then over here on the second tab, scheduled. 
And then on the third tab, it should say in review. Yeah, in review. Okay, so it's in review. Once it goes scheduled, this will stay sch scheduled here as well. And then it will go active tomorrow at 6 a.m. Mm -hmm. Now, you'll get, a, you'll get an email. You'll either get an email or you'll get a notification um, about this ad. It'll say approved. It'll say it's scheduled to be running. It'll say something like that. Or it'll say disapproved. And so if it does say disapproved, it'll tell you exactly what you have to do. And you'll click on it and go through the comply part. Okay. But all it is, all it is, is checking a box or not checking the box because we already did that part. But all it is, 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 is checking something. And then I think you have to, you have to sign for it, but it's, a, it's an electronic sign and all, all an electronic signature. But all it, all it is, is, is just complying to their policy of discrimination for, for housing. So I don't know why we didn't see it as we were setting up the ad. Yeah, I know. And it's like always denying me. So. Yeah. So let's, let's, but you, but you've never done it this way through the ads manager, right? On the, on the yeah, computer. I haven't. Okay. So then this might be a little different. So now that, and, and you know what? Okay. When you did it on your phone, did you have to check the box? Yeah. Okay. So let's see what happens on this time around. Okay. Hit notify me when you get the notification. Okay. But they're approved. And it's not going to say, it won't always say quote unquote approved. It'll say your, your ad is scheduled to run. Yeah. Or look yeah. for something like that. Or okay. on the negative side, it'll flat out tell you this ad was disapproved. Yeah. So whichever one you get, message me, message me, let me know. And then, and then, and that way we'll come in here and turn it off. Or you can easy, easily come in here and turn it off because I don't want you to run this one. Yeah, I don't want to run it either. So, <laughs> again, just hit this drop down, hit manage ads, okay. and, and then and then it'll bring you. Actually, it'll bring you to to a different part, which is this part right here. So if you click on manage ads, yeah, it brings you to that. It yeah. brings you to this, and then just click on that, and then it'll bring you to the dashboard. Okay, so you're saying run one video per week. At fifty dollar lifetime. Yeah. Okay. That's what I would do. Either seven days or ten days. Okay. And 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 you're gonna do that. I would do it ten days. I would do it ten days for the first ad for the intro because we want as many people as as possible to see that ad. Five bucks a day is not gonna really do a whole lot. Ten bucks is a little bit more, but you wanna that first one. You wanna put at least at least I mean at least seventy five bucks towards it, okay. and it's worth it because you get the audience. You find the audience. Yeah. And, and, and those are the people that you want to continue to stay in front of. I agree. Exactly. So um, awesome. local ads. And, 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 and so after, okay, so here's the next step. After we find that audience, a few thousand people watch the first one. And then we start going for lead capture. Lead capture is going to be this, uh, this one right here, conversions. Okay. And that's a whole nother phone call for us. Cause yeah. I gotta, I gotta teach you how to, this is where Kartra comes in. So we're going to need a landing page like a Kartra to start capturing leads. And that's where our Facebook pixel goes on. Okay. Our Facebook pixel goes onto that Kartra page. Okay. So, um, in fact, I can, I can, I mean, it's, it's totally up to you on how you want to continue to approach this. Like I can do all those little basics for you, or we can jump on calls like this and I can teach you how to do it. Or I can send you my training course that has freaking a ton of videos, which I don't know if you're going to be a fan of because you weren't a fan of them before. But I, mean, I have I a whole training videos. course. They're very, like, very, very informative. Yours, like, you walk me through. Other videos I've watched, it's just like people like, oh, you know, it, it, I just, your videos are better. So Because here's what I have. I can either, I can either just give you access to my course like this is just so you, and this is just, just, I'm just being super transparent with you and, and keeping it real. Where I really make my money is when a client will come back after I did, after I did step one and step two, Yeah. that client comes back ready for step three. Yeah. And step three is when I bring them aboard as an actual monthly retaining client. Okay. And that's when a client, you know, has to have a few hundred a month to start spending. Now, not everyone has the budget. Yeah. So for those that don't have a monthly budget to hire me and have me do all this stuff for them, then what I do is I just simply offer them my course. And so in my course, I'm literally teaching them everything about that intro ad, how to set it up, how to run it. Step four, I'm teaching you everything about Kartra, how to set up that landing page, how to set up the thank you page, how to connect your domain, how to do all that. 
And then step five is the email. And all that's through Karcher. I'm teaching you how to set up that email series because as people come to your landing page, whether it was for a listing, uh, a buyer, a seller, it don't matter. Once we capture that name and email from running conversion ads, this is where we're going to start capturing leads. It's conversions. Once we start doing that, then, um, then um, they opt in and they need to start hearing from us. Yeah. Just like I, was, I was mentioning yesterday on our, on our call. When they opt in the next day, hey, John, just wanted to follow up. This is Mary. I know you opted in yesterday. Click the link below. Take you to my calendar, right? So all that email automation is what I teach in, in, in step five. And then in the, this is the bonus section, how to run Facebook ads like a pro. So in this, I'm literally walking you through how to set up everything. Your Facebook pixel, the custom audiences, the detail targeting, how to run video ads, how to run conversion ads, how to run listing ads. So I'm literally taking you through everything, how to, how to master that Facebook ad site. So this is kind of my, my, my baby. This is what I really plan on scaling and, uh -huh. and running Facebook ads for and getting people to, to actually invest in my course. Okay. So this is something that I'll be selling literally at a thousand dollars, but I'm going to just give you full access if you want to learn it that way. Okay. Because I think jumping on calls like this, I'm going to always be available for you, but this shit is time consuming, right? Uh, no, like yeah. You're not going to have all the time in the world to even want to jump on with me. You're going to be busy yourself. Okay. So I can always jump on like this with you for sure, no matter what, if you what, want to learn it this way. What does it, what does it cost for you to do all of it for me? I mean, that's when we start off at at least, I mean, me, my cost is at least a minimum 500 a month. Okay. And then, and then, and then your Facebook ad cost. Okay. So you're at, you're at, you're at probably, you're probably at seven, 800 a month, but at the same time, we are going to start crushing it. Like, yeah. The reason why Facebook ads in real estate is literally a match made in heaven is because of your ROI. Yeah. Even if you brought someone aboard for a thousand bucks a month mm -hmm. and that person could run everything for you, your Karcher account, your freaking Facebook ad account, they literally run everything. Even if you were paying a thousand a month for that person, you just need one damn deal for the whole thing to be profitable. Yeah, I agree. Like one, like one, we're talking one freaking deal. Yeah. And that's why I talk to agents all the time and they're afraid to spend. I'm like, dude, yeah, you I'm not afraid to spend it. You just tell me how much it is and I'll spend it. I'm not afraid to spend it. Well, um, I mean, that's, I can literally do the whole damn thing at 500 a month. And then, and then, and then, and then the Facebook ad is the Facebook ad costs would be on top of that. So if we're just starting at 200 a month, plan on 700 for the month and we would freaking demolish it. Okay. So you would do everything through Kartra. Like, would I be able to um, do certain, like, if I have, say, I have like a a home buyer boot camp or something that I want to like send out and start like a campaign about that. Like, what do I do? Just send it to you and like you do it, or how does that work? All you would do, your only job, your only only responsibility is to post it on that page and message me. Oh, okay. That is it. David, there's a new post. Run that damn thing. Okay. That's it. And, 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 and then with the video, what I try to do is what, and, and so here's, here's, here's two reasons why most, most don't come on as monthly clients with me. Mm -hmm. And nor do I want a lot of clients. I don't, that's not my business model. I don't want a bunch of monthly paying clients. Like I just want a handful of Mary's and that's it because mm -hmm. my whole thing is scaling my course. Yeah. Like I'm going to be like, literally this course is at 997 because I did all the funnels. I, I did. There's so much that's involved in this course that I did. It's not even funny. Like all the, all the funnels that I, that I'm going to transfer to your account, all that is already done in here. Yeah. So, so 997 is what people will be paying for courses all day. And I literally plan on selling a few of these per day all through Facebook advertising. Yeah. So I'm going to be making a few thousand per day just on this. Yeah. So that's where my real, real, passion is that and so i only want i only have time and energy for a handful of clients um and and i would love for you to be one of them if that was it but but at the same time i don't fight for it i'm not begging for it because i don't want i don't want a ton of them but at the same time two reasons why most don't don't even get that far is because number one they're not consistent with a weekly video. Your only responsibility is to produce a new video every week. Oh, dude, I will produce you like 50 videos a day. Dude, I'm telling you. No problem. I have the content. 
I just need someone to run it for me. So if you I have the content, we would crush it, man. Like, yeah, I have a content. I yeah, it's literally I have a whole boot camp I want to run starting March first, where I'm giving away a free PDF and like I want to run the boot camp and dude. then like it has an email drip campaign. It's already written out. Like I have it ready. I just need someone to like do it. And I don't know Mary, how to do it. <laughs> Mary, we have okay, so everything you just said is all through Kartra. Yeah. So the email autoresponder, we need, we need. The, the PDF, that is freaking perfect. All that sits That's on Kartra. Exactly what I would write on email one, email two, welcome email, email five. Dude, if you Whatever. sent that to me, like yeah. that's exactly what I asked for. That's yeah. all I need. Give and me a hand. I would email. have a new one. I already have like six of them. So like to have the six, the next six months covered, like they're all ready to go. Oh gosh, I want to do one a month and each focusing on different things. March 1st, I want to start with home buyers. So like eat and it'll be all about information, like giving information, like here's a free PDF, like, you know, Mary, that like I just you, need you to run it. I Mary, just, where have you been that. all my life, dude? <laughs> I will give where, you 50 videos. I love doing videos. Where I was have you been in my life? Course, so like if you could do this and crush it, like even if I got two deals, like it would pay for it. So I'm not. If you got one deal, it would pay for I it. Know, I'm not worried about that. I was going to pay way more for this other coach. So like 750, like 500 for you, like, and then whatever. And then once we start making more money, I'm going to be like, David. Five hundred dollars towards Facebook ads, like no, I want for sure. More, I want like, more, I want more. We're gonna scale up. That and, and five hundred is where we start. Like that, I want to scale up with you. Like that's why I didn't say no. Twenty five hundred bucks. No, dude. Like let's start small and then yeah. we scale up. Once we're closing three, four, five deals a month, you're yeah. not gonna have a problem paying me two G's a month. David, do you really think I can do that? Like if we get this going, dude. Like, everything you said is exactly what I need, and is exactly what other agents don't have. They don't have the emails ready to go. They don't have a PDF ready to go. Literally up at three a.m. finishing this. I just was like, who do I give it to to start it? Like I, <laughs> dude. <no>. Mary, <laughs> let's freaking roll. Let's get okay. this thing going. Do whatever you need to do. Do you want to send me a contract? I don't know. Like, no, we don't need, we're going to just go month to month and we're going to produce. And the only reason, the only way you'd ever keep me for month number two is if month number one, we freaking crushed it. Okay. So you're the boss. Let's just go month to month and let's just, let's just start this thing. The first okay. one is the intro. Let's roll that intro out right now. Okay. Let's roll that intro. Just get it done. Get it done in the next day or so. I will. I'll do it Post tonight. it to your page and then message me. Okay. And then, and then just let me know when the 500 can start. Yeah. Oh yeah. It, I mean, once, I mean, we can do it once you get it uploaded. I mean, whenever you want to do it today or you want to do it tomorrow after it's uploaded or when I, whatever, whatever, when I email you, when I say, okay, Hey, and you have my card number, right? The is there, card. is there funds on that card? Yeah. 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 Okay. Um, I'll put 500 on that one and it's freaking okay. game time. Okay. It's freaking game time. Email me, email okay. me any email series you have. Email me any PDF you have. Do you have the PDF now or you, or you don't have it yet? No, I have the PDF on my computer. Gosh, Mary. Everything you have, dude, is what Carter's for. Go down, click down out of that because you're in my, or actually I can't. Hold on. Let me show you. Um, right. First time house hunting campaign. This is everything. Here is the PDF ready to go with my thing. This is all the PDF that'll go out. That'll go out for free. Um, I'm going to stop sharing. I'm going to stop share, share your screen so I can see what you're seeing. Oh, how do I do that? Hold on. Why did it not? Oh, hold on. Go back. Share screen. Sure. Okay. Can you see it? Yes. Okay. Uh, so this is my first time house hunting campaign. Oh my um, gosh. This is my PDF. It's all like ready to go. See, it's got my thing on it, everything. Um, oh my gosh. And it's got, and then in my Word document, see here, email day five, it's already written for you. Like it literally says, mm. congratulations. Love you. I just have to re put my name in it. But then it's got like even posts that I would post on Instagram, like a true or false, like 
um, like different days that I would post. This is the actual um, post that would be posted. So that's the ad right there is the ad. Wow. Exactly what I would write out and wow. I would have my stuff on it. This is the picture that would go out um, with my stuff on it. So like the, everything's ready to go. This is just one. I have another one that I was started putting together, but then I got tired last night. It's called house hunting is as easy as watching binging Netflix. So here's the PDF, um, that'll go out and I'll put like, it's here due to dear future homeowner. So that could be another one. I have a seller one, um, say yes to the address. This is a, another whole nother month. These are different months. So this is, another month like dear home buyer here we go like wow. in their seller versions i have all of this wow. ready to go look i mean it's like it's got my everything the first time home buyer all of the emails all of the posts they're all right here like the welcome email the the e there's even an e-course that goes with it like it's an actual e-course that goes with it i have all of it it's right here Dude, Mary, I we're going to freaking need to put it in there. <laughs> so I just need someone to do it for me. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's over. It's called, it's a wrap. The emails, <laughs> the PDFs, okay. the ad example you have, that's all I need. That's it. That's okay. it. And then, and then, and then through all that, we're putting out well, a video. I do have an actual, like, so for that particular one, I do have a um, landing page already set up for that ad because i didn't know that i didn't know about contra when i set or if that is how you say it when Archer. i set all that up so i do this through a different like girl who does it so this landing page is already ready and then okay. you click here to get my free guide but i don't know if you want to use that i'm just saying i like, can i can duplicate it i can copy the exact thing in the Kartra account because I like the cleanness of this, and then yes. if that matches the ad, so it's like it. you're clicking and I so love it. I get up to three landing page examples. Well, I get up to three landing pages a month, and I ordered two more for these other. And then there's also one that I have that's for um, I, don't, I haven't downloaded it yet. I've just started like getting it all into like folders, like the one that you see like with mm -hmm. everything for the mm -hmm. entire campaign. Um, I also have one where it does like buyer consults, like uh, it, it's like a whole ad on questions, it's like a questionnaire that they fill out um, mm -hmm. before. Yeah. So I have, dude, David, I have all this shit ready to go out. Like, oh, wow. I'm I, so I, like, dude, we would fly through. I'd be like, okay, end of March 1st, this is going up. June, June 1st, this is going up. Like I would put like price switch off, like buyers then sellers and buyers then sellers like i would kind of go no i already have and then some of them will be like you know around the holiday it'll go with with a um you know with a holiday or something no i got all this shit ready i just need someone to do it so and i need buyers like i need people coming in i need business so you've I, got everything that it takes yeah. mary like and i have and i love being on video so like in between those like i have I mean, I have all these posts, like I, I have no issue being on video. I love, I have a great personality. I'll talk. My husband yes. laughs at me. I, I'll talk on video as much as you want me to. So I have no problem with that. Um, so, so now on in, in the videos, at the end of the videos, now there's a call to action. The call to action is to, hey, don't forget to click learn more to download okay. your free PDF. Okay. That's the call to action in every video from this point on. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's freaking game time. Yeah. It is game Let's time. Let's do it. Um, I will transfer that money over and... Um, Sounds good. Let's get it started. Let's get it started and then just let me know what the first... Send me any emails you have. Send me the PDF. Okay. I, can, I, can, I can get all those into the account tonight. So I'll work on all that tonight. It's okay. setting up the email sequence and uploading the PDF to the Kartra account and then attaching it to the landing page. How and do you want me to send you the emails? Right now, I just have them in a Word document. Do you want me to? No, that's like, fine. You could totally just send me the document. It says email number one, email number two. That's all. Perfect. Yeah. Send me, send me that. Send, send it to me in an attachment. Email it to me. Oh my gosh, David, are you for real? I'm or freaking. It's for real. Is freaking cancer. Like I am for real. Like I am. 
<laughs> so pumped up right now because here's the deal. My, you're my dream client, but my dream client, most of them don't even have all that content. And <laughs> I got to go create all that stuff for them. No, I don't need you to do all that. I just oh need you to gosh. post it. Like, I just need you to, I can post it. I just need you to run it. Like, I need you to run my car. Drive. I don't know how to do any of that. I don't even want to worry about it. I just want to be able to create the content and send it to you and you do your thing. Like That all. is all you need to do. Enough That's said. That, there's nothing else for you to do. There's nothing else. Just send it to me. I got it. I'll manage Kartra. Any of these pages that you get, the three a month or whatever it is, send it to me and I'll just clone it and I'll duplicate the exact page inside of Kartra and we'll run everything out of that. And the reason why I love why Kartra is, is important is because it has everything we need. We, we need the email autoresponder, we need the landing page, and we need the calendar. Yeah. That's yeah. all in one. Like I, I need all those. Like when these emails go out, they're not just random emails that are going out for the hell of it. In the email, there's links to the calendar. And okay. there's call to actions. Hey guys, by the way, click the link below. It'll take you straight to my calendar where you can schedule your best time. I cannot wait to speak to you. And that's in a drip campaign. That's all via email. Yeah. So, so, so I need some calendar I need software, right? Yeah, that, that's all there. So anything you have, whatever you have, email it to me and I'll get it up and we'll freaking rock and roll. Okay. I'm transferring money right now. So sounds good. I'll email you a confirmation. And, um, so what are we, so it's how much, so 500 today. That's it. Okay. And then, and then we just do that monthly monthly. Yeah. Okay. So, okay. And then whatever you spend on ads, but I'll yes. be able to see that like through my ad account too. You'll see everything. I'm going to run everything through. So the like ad, for example, I'm glad we're talking about this. The like ad is the only one that's already ran on mine. It's already ready. It's going to be set to go in a minute. I have everything set on my end, but from this point on, every ad is going to go in, in your account. Okay. So you're going to see everything. Like you're going to see everything. So, and you'll okay. get a notification from Facebook. Facebook will just charge whatever card you have on file with, with Facebook. Okay. Awesome. Do you have a card on file with Facebook? Yeah. It should. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll, yeah. I'll double check it, but yeah. And yeah, they've so, been charging it. So <laughs> yeah, somebody's been charging it. Okay. So, so yeah, you can charge that card. I think I gave you the right one. God, I don't even know which one I gave you. I told you I have like five. So <laughs> it's the one that ends at 9809. Yeah, I think that's the one I just transferred money to. <laughs> I have five accounts. And sometimes when I go in to transfer money, I'm like, wait, which one goes to which account? Um, let me just make sure all of them have money in them. So no matter what they do, all of them have money in them that you can, it'll cover it. It'll cover the 500. So awesome. So we started with the 500 and then you Let's already have the 200 and then we'll go from there. Let's so, do it. Awesome, David. So okay. I will, I will send you all of the stuff then. Um, yes. That you need the PDF and the email drips and all that. I'll do that. Perfect. That's all I need. And then I will do a video tonight. So yes. And let's um, run that ASAP. Okay. Just Sounds message good. me when that video is up and then I'll have it going the next morning. Okay. Awesome. awesome Mary. Thank Thanks, you so much. David. Okay. Bye. Game time. Bye-bye.